Hello, I'm MT the Doodle King. You're watching a speed art with commentary. I've never done a speed art with commentary before, so this is a new experience for me. I usually just put music over my speed arts, but for this one I felt like talking. So this recording is me drawing Gwen Stacy from Across the Spider-Verse for a group doodle I did yesterday. I was very happy with how my Gwen Stacy turned out, but I didn't show much of me drawing it because I didn't want to spoil what it looked like, so that's why I'm making this separate video. At normal speed, this video recording is 1 hour, 43 minutes, and 37 seconds. I think this is the longest drawing I've ever done for Group Doodle, and I hope I don't ever take almost 2 hours to draw someone ever again. If you're wondering what my drawing program is, it's Adobe Animate 2022, which is the same thing I use to animate. You may ask why am I using Animate, an animation program? Well, it's because Adobe Illustrate sucks and I don't like using it. An actual drawing tool I recommend is GIMP, which is completely free. If you're wondering what GIMP means, it stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. I first started using GIMP in middle school, and I still use it for all my thumbnails today. The reason I'm drawing on Adobe Animate instead of GIMP is because GIMP is pixel-based, and Animate is vector-based, which in a nutshell means Adobe Animate can be upscaled forever. I usually only use GIMP for drawings with complex shading. I remember back in the day I used to use MS Paint with a mouse and Windows Movie Maker to make super primitive cartoons. Then I briefly used GIMP for cartoons until I finally discovered Adobe Animate and that became my thing ever since. I used to laugh at the idea of anyone trying to animate with MS Paint because of how hard it would be and how bad the final product would be, but then my friend Zach showed me the Big Liz show which was done in MS Paint and some parts of it actually looked pretty good. It's one of the best examples that the artist is not limited by their tools, but the tools are limited by the artists. So the new Spider-Verse movie came out recently, and I didn't talk about it at all during the group doodle, so I'm gonna talk about it here. Spoiler alert for Across the Spider-Verse. They went mega mode with the different art styles. It's so creative that sometimes it hurts my eyes a little. The first fight scene with the Da Vinci Vulture in Gwen's Dimension is too visually crazy for my mind to comprehend. Like, it's just like, ah, I, I, I genuinely don't like looking at it. It's too much for me. I saw this film two times, and the second time I was mostly looking for background Easter egg stuff. This film claims to have 280 different variations of Spider-Man, but from what I could see, a big majority of them are just silhouettes with spider eyes, which was very disappointing. That chase scene where Miles escapes all the different spider people is pretty awesome. But I will say, in the first teaser, Spider-Man 99 fights Miles, and it's a fight scene that isn't in this movie. I was wondering if it's gonna be in the third movie, and people were telling me they think they just cut it from the film, and if you know the fight scene I'm talking about is in the first teaser trailer, it looks really, really expensive to animate. Like, it was crazy well done, so it would be nuts if they just completely cut it from the film. That, I, I can't believe that, that's crazy. So the next film, here's what I wanna see. We barely got to see Penny Parker, and we just basically didn't see Spider-Noir at all, and we got a tiny little hint of Spider-Pig. I wanna see them more in the next film. Last thing I want is that Japanese Spider-Man with a gun. I want them to bring him back, that would be awesome. So, um, what else can I talk about? Uh, I guess I could talk about my plans for the rest of the year. I got a lot of projects I'm going to do this summer. For the next few days, I'll be releasing two different 10-year anniversary related videos. At the end of this month, I have a really short Indiana Jones cartoon idea. Um, I think it's going to be my first ever cartoon that I make to be a YouTube short. Like, make it with the intention to be a YouTube short. YouTube Shorts have been getting really popular recently, and with them making it to where you can make money off of them, I think I'm gonna start actually delving into YouTube Shorts. I have a bunch of videos that are going to come out on Doodle King Gaming this summer, like a lot, a lot, like 30 plus I think. In August I will be uploading a remastered version of one of my oldest cartoons, and the same month I should be meeting up with a bunch of friends to find a rare artifact. Then in October, I was planning on having Michael Afton's life come out. And I might have another cartoon about skeletons come out around the same time. We'll see. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's really all I got planned for the rest of the year. And here is the finished Gwen Stacy drawing. I'm super proud with how this turned out, and I hope you liked it too. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next group doodle. Bye-bye!